When I was a kid, you used to characterize March as time to start flying kites again because yeah. it's always so windy. And we see proof of that in Portland right now as our tower cameras bounce. Yeah, around. it's all over the place. And this is like, I remember so many days in, in uh, like early spring that are like this, yeah. where it's like you're back and forth. It looks really nice out, but it's only in the 30s right now. It's, but it's a good it's, sign. We, we cling to this because yeah. it's all the, the trend is our friend. Yeah, like I said, even Maine winter eventually has to give up. It has no <laughs> choice but to, to get there. The temperatures today are significantly cooler. We actually have another weird official high situation where it was uh, early in the day and then temperatures fell. But it's just an oddity. 36 in Portland right now, 35 in Bangor, and 32 in Greenville. Look at these winds. This is what you'll notice. Winds gusting to 44 miles an hour in Augusta, 40 in Portland, and 32 in Bangor. So not enough to do any damage necessarily, but enough to be noticeable and kind of annoying. And that's how the rest of this afternoon will be. Uh, well, the winds at least. I don't know if it will be an annoying afternoon in general, but winds uh, will continue out of the northwest through the afternoon, early evening, then they settle down. Temperatures drop down in the 20s and teens in a lot of spots tonight. Uh, not super cold, but colder than we've seen the last few nights. Start with a little sun, kind of broken sun the first half of tomorrow, but clouds come in pretty quick from southwest and northeast. Now, I mentioned to you that this model is pretty aggressive as far as how far it brings the snow shield up compared to some other models, but it's worth showing nonetheless that by tomorrow afternoon, there will be some snow starting to break out over southern Maine. And I think the real line is going to be probably more like this into Augusta and Rockland and Bangor is going to be right on the edge. We'll keep an eye on that. But there will be periods of snow overnight Wednesday, mostly light, a moderate band over southern Maine is, is a possibility. This whole thing moves out though in time for the morning commute on Thursday. And then it's uh, not here that long, most likely because we get some sun in here on Thursday. Temperatures are in the 40s and some of us may get to 50 degrees on Thursday afternoon. Now, if you get two inches, are you going to be able to melt that in one day at 40? Maybe not, but it's going to be pretty close. I think a lot of areas will melt the snow that they got just during the day on Thursday. It's mild overnight Thursday, and then Friday is above average temperature wise as well. So I don't anticipate that we'll go into the weekend with any of the snow that comes through tomorrow night. So here's our, our map right now. We've got one to two inches in Sanford and, and into Portland, into the mid coast as well, according to one really broadly for the rest of the state because it looks like there'll be some periods of snow, but not enough that we're gonna see significant accumulation. And we'll keep an eye on this. The latest models will come in this afternoon and we'll see if, if we need anything higher than this. I don't think we do. I think one to two will cover the vast majority of the state as far as accumulation goes. So that storm trended north for tomorrow night. And then the storm for Saturday trended a little colder. I've talked about my, my real bias against rain first snowstorms. And this is still trying to be that, but this low is now just a little bit farther east. And if this trend continues, it would be significantly colder of the system overall. So there'd be a shorter period of rain and then snow, and that you can get done. So I say the mountains especially should look out for this Saturday, Saturday afternoon into Sunday. It still looks to me like the coast will likely be rain, but it's not a slam dunk, so we'll keep an eye on that as we get into the weekend. And uh, we put, we changed the ratio a little bit. Pat, now we've got three drops to two flakes. So it's getting a little bit more even <laughs> as a uh, temperature profile gets like that. As I mentioned, tomorrow night snow is kind of nuisance snow. It's not going to be a big deal. We will melt it by the weekend regardless, both Thursday and Friday look warm. And then there's your um, spring forward Saturday night, which is nice. Yeah, That's a daily big shaving time coming up. Uh, you know, it's funny because it's so bad when it's 355 that it already feels better right now. <laughs> so an extra hour is just like, it's a huge it's bonus. Yeah. Thanks, Keith.